the program's called Y Achievers, and it's a cohort model, right? You've got adult achievers and you have young achievers. But what I want folks to consider is not that this is uh, just achievement oriented, but it's also about the process of achieving. I honestly think it's one of the most rewarding things that I've done since I've returned to Pittsburgh. If anything, I feel in debt to these kids. I feel like I owe them the thank you versus the other way around. When I see the smiles on their faces, when we have conversation and I can see them taking it all in, when I get to see them excelling in school or, or taking a different path, that's exciting for me. Seeing success is after you do the first year of the program and you see that not only have the scholars like over the summer grown physically, but they're thinking differently. They want to pivot about what their, their hopes and dreams, their goals and aspirations are. My name is David Johns. I'm the executive director of the National Black Justice Coalition. The Y Achievers program highlight the importance of listening to and enrolling young people who are most likely to be neglected, ignored, and not enrolled in the process of co-constructing solutions to the problems that young people face. I meant to really say thank you to the caring and concerned adults who invest in and volunteer their time, talent, and treasures to support the Y Achievers programs and all that the Y does to ensure that the children, youth, and young adults of Pittsburgh are supported in ways that allow them to thrive. We have really good kids. Like we have really good kids in these communities. We need to do the most that we can to make sure that they're successful. Getting to know the kids, it was immediately apparent that we were dealing with something very special. Uh, the level of engagement, the level of intelligence, the kind of questions we were getting, the kind of curiosity that was demonstrated, the willingness to participate and all of that. And I've gotten as much out of it myself as, uh, as I think that I've been able uh, and been grateful enough to, to pour into it. In this program, you walk in and you're like, oh, I want to I wanna build my resume, but it's so much more than that. It's physically being there and caring about these kids. You learn about these kids, you learn about their home life, you learn about their struggles. Some of these kids have went through things I, I probably couldn't even imagine. It changes you, that it's not just volunteering, you're pouring into these kids. It's about being there. If you're a person that believes that mentoring is important or that community-based organizations can have a beneficial role with young people, then supporting this work in whatever way you resonate with, feel led to, or can would certainly be welcome because you, we can do more with, with more and there's different ways of getting, of getting involved. This city isn't going to be successful unless we figure out a way to change the way we're presenting opportunities to people that might not even know that they have a potential career path. And so I, I enjoyed having lots of conversations with the participants in the program about some of those different opportunities. If you're interested in the future, and if you're interested in the improvement of the lived experience of folks that have been traditionally marginalized or underserved, or if you would just like to see society improve over time, there could be perhaps no better way than to spend quality, meaningful time with young people.